total of 2,240 cases of COVID-19 were reported. From 8 to 14 July 2022, a total of 3,717 cases was, was reported. Mr. Speaker, sir, with regard Can you please get your mic closer? Thank you. Mic. Yes, yeah, just a mic. Not right, a mask. Okay, Not a mask. Just a mic. So, Mr. Speaker, sir, with regard to hospitalization, all admitted patients suffering from COVID-19 in regional hospitals are directed to the new ENT hospital for appropriate management. In reply to part 1A1 one of the question, 45 patients were admitted from 1st to 8th July and 58 patients from 9th to 14th July. Mr. Speaker, sir, in reply to part A2 of the question, three patients have passed away as a consequence of COVID-19 from 1st to 7th July, and there has been no reported case of death directly related to COVID-19 during the week of 8 to 14th July 2022. Mr. Speaker, sir, in reply to part B of the question, the PCR sequential analysis is carried out on positive cases since train monitoring is still ongoing in the country. The last sequencing results on 118 samples collected between 29 May to 23rd June 2022 were as follows. BA10, BA241, BA434, BA531, and BE112. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Dans l'éventualité que le nombre d'hospitalisations et de décès augmente davantage et que la situation se dégrade, le honorable ministre peut-il nous dire quelles seront ses recommandations au High Level Committee par rapport aux restrictions sanitaires Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir, we are monitoring the situation, obviously, with the, uh, the variant that now is more in the population. And we know that these variants they are less, uh, they are more infectious, but less infective. And if we follow what is the trend in other countries around the world where there is a surge of cases, but that also depends upon the vaccination status and the variant that is already circulated in the population. Obviously, we will take measures which is appropriate. But as for the time being, we know that there would be cases, especially during this winter season, but is that having an impact on death or in uh, at cases that need hospitalization? So this will be followed, and obviously, if any uh, recommendation from the public health will come, we'll definitely uh, make provision for. Honorable Ministre, peut-il nous dire quels sont les soins actuellement administrés à ceux qui sont hospitalisés Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir, the treatment uh, modalities is if uh, patients who are asymptomatic, they are given treatment based on their symptoms, but otherwise, if the treatment of symptomatic, it is based upon the protocol that is already established, and I think that in the past I've already tabled the uh, protocol of treatment that has remained unchanged since the beginning that we are <coughs> treating the patients of COVID-19. Dr. Lobolumia, please. Thank you. Will the Honorable Minister, in view of the actual prevailing variant in the country where there is a surge in the number of cases, the number of people who are doing the home self-test kit has been on the increase. And surely, there has been many of them who have been tested positive without actually attending the public sector and thereby evading the, the number of cases that, is truly positive, that are truly positive in the country. Will the minister consider a system whereby people who are tested positive can actually inform the ministry at least for, for the prevailing conditions in the country? Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir, COVID-19 is a notifiable disease as per the Public Health Act. So anybody who's been tested positive at home, especially by the uh, self-testing kit, they should report to a health center to get the test confirmed 
or they should phone the 4124 to send the information over there so that these all can be compiled by the public health unit of the ministry. Honorable Beda, you still have one? Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. May I ask the Honorable Minister, what is the capacity of the ENT hospital and whether we have reached capacity and some patients, uh, old age ones, are requested to go home to be treated at home? Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir, patients transferred to uh, ENT hospitals are those who require admission or those who are uh, in a state where uh, they should be admitted for follow-up. For the last two or three months, since admissions have gone down drastically, in the different hospitals where we were having uh, uh, set up special wards for COVID-19 patients, we have closed all these wards. So due to that limited number of admissions, all, all patients are transferred to ENT hospital. At present, there are some 40 patients that are admitted at ENT hospital, and that patients, they are all the admissions, one being admitted at, uh, at ENT. In the future, if ever the number of cases keep on rising, the wards in the different hospital will be reopened again. So that would be uh, the long-term planning for in case we are going to have more cases, admi uh, admissions for COVID-19, they will be uh, catered at the hospital. Thank you very much. Next question.